Praise be Jesus Christ. The scripture I received in my morning prayer this morning is Ezekiel chapter 33. The Lord says, Son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, you must warn them for me. Now, last night, again, I had a little trouble sleeping, just kind of concerned over the treatment of a priest who's being criticized for his tone. Uh, my heart goes out to priests like this. You see, as priests, we love our parishioners and we're a father to them. And we, we don't want to be taken away from our parishioners. And yet we, we know that we need to speak the truth to them. And, and sometimes it's, it's a very difficult um, situation to be in. Sometimes it's complicated. Um, but the point that I feel is so important is, as Catholics, there can't be topics of discussion that are forbidden. Like, the Catholic Church has a rich history of intellectual debate. We go after the truth using reason. Like, this, is, this is a big part of who we are. And so, for example, today the question, can Catholics vote for a politician who very openly, unquestionably, will leave the door wide open to the killing of the most innocent, vulnerable, and helpless in our society. Can Catholics vote for this kind of politician? We need to, to look at this question. Now, I mean, in my mind, it's obvious. No, you can't, because that makes you complicit, complicit in the killing of innocent people. And people who do vote for a politician who's openly going to leave the door wide open to killing the innocent, those people have blood on their hands. Our Lord says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. And so to me, let's have this debate. I, and I'm, if someone doesn't agree that it's wrong, absolutely wrong, to vote for a politician who unquestionably, very openly, will leave the door open to the killing of the most innocent, vulnerable, helpless. Let's have that debate, fine. But in the meantime, I maintain this position that if you, as a Catholic, knowingly vote for a politician who does not protect the most innocent and, and vulnerable, who will have the door wide open to them being killed, then you are committing a mortal sin. You have blood on your hands and you will be held accountable for being part of this awful slaughter of the innocents. Viva Cristo Rey.